It's not every day that two of your best friends marry each other. So I'm feeling incredibly lucky and blessed tonight. And on this day, Tyler and Casey will pledge their lives together as one and commit by the grace of God themselves to each other forever in marriage. Well, nobody thinks that they came to Fripp Island this weekend for an average time, right? Is there anybody that came here thinking they were going to have an average time? If you raise your hand. No. Everybody knew it was going to be great, right? You knew it. And you knew it was because of these two very special people. But I'm here to tell you that this marriage has been a long time coming. Junior year, while I was making myself ramen noodles for dinner, Casey was fixing Tyler four course meals. <laughs> I've seen Casey go from a tequila shot taking party animal, well, she still does that, <laughs> to the most loyal friend that I've ever had. She may act tough on the outside. I think that she might have some of Drew's New Jersey in her. <laughs> but on the inside, she's actually a big softie. I know that Casey will always be by my side, no matter what life brings us. She's one of the best hearts of anyone that I know. It doesn't need to be just these three days that are great. Your life together, every day can be this euphoric and can be this wonderful and to celebrate all the little things. While Casey's always taken care of me, Tyler's always been there to take care of both of us. I know that she's in the best hands with you. Janet, and the reason that I'm speaking tonight is because I was asked to represent the Johnston side of the family because I'm the only one that would not cry <laughs> while talking. Most people have one mother. Casey had four mothers. She was the first, and I'm really only talking about the Johnston side of the family, but she was the first on both sides. Since she was the first, she was treated kind of specially from granddaddy. Casey has, I wish Joe were here tonight, he would have been saying she was our very first. I wonder how many times she heard that. All of her other friends and cousins and everybody looked up to Casey because she was the first. So she was the leader. They had to see what Casey said first and then that's what was the root. Casey, I, I got to give little tidbits of advice for you if this thing's going to work out. First off, learn how to do laundry, because Tyler, I'm honestly not convinced if he knows how to. Nance did that. Tyler, Tyler could not accomplish that feat. Lastly, just have fun with him. He, he's a lot of fun, as you know. Tyler uh, actually did the funniest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. I somehow convinced him to purposely trip on stage at his graduation in Auburn. Now, but Casey, we love you. Tyler, you're my best friend. Couldn't be more happy for you. We found that love stretches. It really stretches. And we're so happy to welcome Tyler to this family, to make him a part of it. I take you, Casey, to be my wife. I take you, Tyler, to be my husband. Tyler, you may now kiss your wife <laughs> and the point of everything I've said is just to let you know that we've done everything we could possibly do to ruin her. I mean, we've tried really, really hard to ruin her, and somehow we didn't. Somehow she ended up so wonderful and so special and so delightful in every way that we are unbelievably proud of her and just love her so very, very, very much and she is our first. A lot of times there'd be a family gathering and Joe would say, Margaret Ann, just look what we did. So that's my wish for Casey and Tyler, that they can stand back one day and say, look what we did.
to you the great Irish blessing of St. Patrick. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.